Do you have what it takes to conquer one of the wildest roller coaster road trips ever? In this video, I will share with you 10 different itineraries that will help you plan your next coaster trip, followed by the ultimate coaster trip itinerary. Seriously, this trip is 14 days long, so stay tuned to later in the video for that. To start things off, let's take a look at the New England coaster trip. And with this trip, I recommend at least three full days because you'll be able to experience Quasi Amusement Park, which you only need around two to three hours there, Lake Compounds, which is a half day park, and then of course, Six Flags New England, which you really could easily spend a half day or even a full day at the park given your time frame. Canopy Lake Park in New Hampshire is awesome and it's definitely worth at least three to four hours of your time. And lastly, Fun Town Splash Town USA, which you will only need around two to three hours at that park. Total miles for this trip is 261, the hours in the car is four hours and 33 minutes, and potential new credits is 23. Now I have been lucky enough to be able to experience all these five parks and I really do recommend them. And obviously you'll want to spend most of your time at Six Flags New England. That's because it's a park that offers one of the best one-two punches out there in Wicked Cyclone and Superman the Ride. And hopefully the park will open yet another record-breaking coaster in 2025. But getting a night ride on Boulder Dash at Lake Compounds must be your number one priority when you're planning this trip. Trust me, it is worth it. Now for the first of many TPR tips throughout this video, and that is, do not let the smaller size of Wooden Warrior at Quasi fool you. This Gravity Group wooden coaster delivers an excellent ride filled with airtime and is worth checking out. The Eastern Pennsylvania Tour. Days needed is four. Starting off with Dutch Wonderland, which you need around three to four hours at this awesome family park, Hershey Park, which is obviously a full day park, Knobles, which I personally could spend a full day at the park, but at least allow yourself six to eight hours at this awesome park, and Dorney Park's a half day park. Total miles is 172, the hours in the car is 3 hours and 35 minutes, and potential coaster credits is 31. If you're looking for a great collection of coasters that are all within a very close proximity of one another, then this might just be the best trip for you. You will find a great mix of old fashioned rides and attractions and some of the newest roller coasters in the world as well. Pennsylvania is home to some fantastic parks with charm and history. From the top-notch coaster collection that you're going to find at Hershey to the fantastic time that you're going to have at Thorny Park, this is a road trip that every coaster enthusiast needs to experience. TPR tip. Knobles during the day is great and all, but Knobles at night, that is where it's at because Phoenix is one of the best night rides around. Now in regards to these coaster trip itineraries, they do not have a right from wrong starting or ending point. But the way I created this video, at least you'll be able to see what these trips would look like. And to make things easier, each trip will start in one city and end in another. And I'm even showing you the quickest route that offers the fewest miles and time in the car. Now it's time for a very important money savings tip. It is usually cheaper to rent and return a car from the same location. Now that is something to consider when planning your coaster trip. If you plan on flying, then I recommend researching which major airport along the route will be the cheapest to fly in and out of. This would also play a major factor in your rental car's pricing. Coming up next is the Ohio The Coaster State Tour, and days needed with travel is four. That's because you're going to want to spend a full day at Kings Island and around two to three hours at the Columbus Zoo on the way up to Cedar Point. And when you're at Cedar Point, since it is the roller coaster mecca, you got to spend at least two full days in the park to get the full experience. Total miles is 204, the hours in the car is only 3 hours and 47 minutes, with potential coaster credits 34. Two mega parks, the second tallest coaster here in America, the world's longest wooden roller coaster, and arguably the world's best roller coaster. What else could you possibly even want? But seriously, do not sleep on the Columbus Zoo because it makes for the perfect pit stop that's right in the middle of both Cedar Point and Kings Island. TPR tip, Kings Island offers the best coaster night rides in the entire world. So I recommend planning this trip around when the park will be opened up later in the night. Gateway to the West, days needed for with travel. 
and you're going to want to spend a half day at least at Kentucky Kingdom and budget a full day for Holiday World. Six Flags St. Louis is a half day park and coming in 2025 is the all new Oasis at Lakeport which you're going to want to spend around two hours at. And for Silver Dollar City, if you can, I recommend at least a day and a half, but at least give yourself one full day at this awesome theme park. The total miles for this coaster trek is 572. You will spend 9 hours and 14 minutes in the car as you get 30 new coaster credits. There's something about these parks that I just love. Maybe it's the small park feel that each one of them offers, or maybe the family vibe. Storm Chaser, Lightning Run, Mr. Freeze, Voyage, and Time Traveler are worth this trip alone. Plus, when the all new Oasis at Lakeport opens next year, it will feature two solid family coasters. TPR Tip Plan your trip around night rides on the Voyage, Outlaw Run, and Time Traveler. Trust me, you will thank me later for that recommendation. The Show Me Coaster Tour, Days Needed 4. Now while this coaster trip is pretty similar to my gateway to the west, the only difference is, is that you're not going to have to leave Missouri at all. You're going to want to spend around 6 to 8 hours at Worlds of Fun, Silver Dollar City again at least a full day, plus if you love mountain coasters, you're going to find 2 or 3 awesome ones in the Branson area. You're going to want to spend around 2 hours at the Oasis at Lakeport, plus a half day at Six Flags St. Louis. The total miles for this trip is 486, the hours in the car will be 7 hours and 58 minutes, and you'll be able to ride up to 27 different coasters on this trip. Missouri is one of the best states here in America for coasters. And now that Worlds of Fun and Six Flags St. Louis are both a Six Flags theme park, I expect both properties to have great futures. However, Silver Dollar City is my favorite theme park in the entire country. I love everything about this awesome Branson theme park. TPR Tip if you love a good coaster night ride, then be sure to plan this trip around visiting Silver Dollar City when it's open up late. Outlaw Run, Powder Cake, Wildfire, Thunder Ration, and Time Traveler all offer exceptional night rides. Roller Coaster Rodeo Days needed 5 with travel. You're going to want to spend at least a half day at SeaWorld San Antonio, a full day at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, around an hour or so at ZDT's amusement park, at least 2-3 to three hours at Coda Land once they open up their awesome new coasters, followed by a full day at Six Flags Over Texas. The total miles is 334 and the time in the car is 5 hours and 12 minutes and total potential coaster credits is 39 including SeaWorld San Antonio's new family coaster that's opening up in 2025 and the two big ones at Coda Land. Texas is a massive state and these awesome parks make visiting here totally worth it. And now that Coda Land is opening their new major coasters in 2025, this trip is a must. Fiesta Texas is hands down the best overall park in Texas. And if you're looking for the best roller coaster event out there, then you have to check out Roller Coaster Rodeo. This up and coming coaster event takes place in early June every year at Fiesta and I cannot recommend it enough. TPR tip, do not visit Texas and not go check out a Bucky's, Bill Miller's, and Whataburger because you're going to find fantastic food at each of these must visit places. The upper Midwest Coaster Trek, which will take you around 5 days to complete. You're going to need a full day at Six Flags Great America, 2-3 to three hours at Little America, around 4-5 or five hours at Mount Olympus, and around a half day at Nickelodeon Universe, followed by Valley Fair, which is another half day park in my opinion. And then down in Iowa, you have the Lost Island theme park, which all you really need there is two to three hours. And then you can get to Adventureland in the same day and spend at least seven or eight hours at that awesome park in Des Moines. Total miles is 727. The hours in the car is 11 hours and 15 minutes and potential coaster credits is 47. While you will not find too many major coasters on this trip, but that really is okay because the top 3 ones that you're going to find at these parks are totally worth it. Goliath at Six Flags Great America is fantastic, Renegade at Valley Fair is a top tier wooden coaster, and Monster at Adventureland are must ride coasters. TPR tip, believe it or not, but Adventureland is an excellent park and I do not recommend skipping out on this place either. East Coast Thrills 
Days needed, six with travel. You're gonna need a full day for Busch Gardens Williamsburg, a full day for King's Dominion, a half day for Six Flags America, around three or four hours for Maury's Piers, around two hours for Casino Pier, a full day at Six Flags Great Adventure, around a half day at Nickelodeon Universe Theme Park, and another half day at Luna Park Coney Island. Total miles is 569 and the hours in the car is 10 hours and 9 minutes. And on this trip, you'll be able to get up to 72 new coaster credits. There are so many great parks and coasters that are so close together, making this a very action-packed road trip. And what I really love about this coaster trip is that you're not going to be driving more than like three hours without stopping at a park along the way. There are so many other great boardwalk parks that you will find along the Jersey Shore, but in terms of coasters, Casino Pier and Maury's Piers offers the most ones. TPR tip, plan to spend a full day at King's Dominion, Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, and Six Flies Great Adventure. Roller coasters are awesome, and if you're enjoying this video and find it to be helpful in any way, then all I ask that you do is please give the video a like, and I really hope that you consider becoming the newest theme park recommendation subscriber. The Southeast Coaster Riders Trek Days needed, six with travel. You will want to spend at least eight or nine hours at Six Flags Over Georgia, and around three to four hours at Fun Spot Atlanta in the evening. Give yourself around three hours to experience Lake Winnie, and of course, a full day for Dollywood and Carowinds. The total miles is 521, and the hours in the car is 8 hours and 54 minutes, and 43 coaster credits when we count Carowinds' new family coaster coming in 2025. What I really love about this trip is that you will have a chance of riding three top-rated coasters along your journey. You have Fury 325, Airy Force 1, and Lightning Rod. And if you've never been on those three coasters before, then trust me, they alone are worth this trip. Plus, you'll be able to enjoy a day at Dollywood, which is one of the best regional theme parks in the country. And if you love mountain coasters and consider them as coaster credits, then you will have plenty to choose from, all located minutes away from Dollywood. TPR tip. There is a reason why Airy Force One is my third favorite coaster I've ever been on, and that is because it warms up as the day goes on, and rides on it in the evening and night are the best. The Six Flags Mega Tour. Days needed, seven with travel. Six Flags Great Adventures, obviously a full day. Dorney Park's at least a half a day. Six Flags America's around three to four hours to a half day. King's Dominion's a full day. King's Island's a full day. And for Cedar Point, again, I recommend at least two full days. The total miles is 1,091. The hours in the car is 17 hours and 39 minutes. But on this trip, you're able to get up to 77 different coaster credits. It is so crazy to think that all these awesome parks are now all in the same chain. It is also crazy that on this trip, you'll get to experience four different parks that offer 14 or more different coasters. TPR tip, do not sleep on Dorney Park. While the coaster collection doesn't offer really any major standouts, what they have is great and every coaster is so rewritable. Now for this video, I'm not including the Florida parks or the Southern California parks since those are more or less like a vacation destination and in my opinion, you're really not doing a road trip to visit those parks. With that being said, it is now time to share with you the itinerary for the ultimate roller coaster trip. And do you have what it takes to attempt a trip where you can ride 138 different roller coasters that you're going to find at 13 parks? Check out my ultimate coaster trip. 14 days with travel, you will enjoy Six Flags Over Georgia, Fun Spot Atlanta, Dollywood, Carowinds, Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, King's Dominion, Six Flags America, Six Flags Great Adventure, Dorney Park, Hershey Park, Kennywood, Waldemere, and Cedar Point. With the total miles coming in at 1,750, and the total time in the car is 28 hours and 10 minutes, and again, 138 different coaster credits. I know it sounds crazy, but if you have around two weeks where you're not doing anything and really want to increase your coaster and park credits, then this trip is a great option for you. TPR tip. If you are crazy enough to conquer this trip, then I recommend taking some breaks along the way so you do not exhaust yourself. 
Now I recommend not planning your next roller coaster trip without learning about these must know theme park tips and hacks. Be sure to click the link at the bottom left hand side of your screen to watch that video now. So what is your craziest coaster road trip story? Be sure to let me know in the comments, I would love to know. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.